。好，啊、uh, ，那我们现在开始上课啊。Now let's begin. So hello everyone. Before today's class, I will show you a video related to the topic we are going to talk about today. Uh, let's enjoy the video. Oh, can can you hear the volume? Is okay. Yes, Lashi. Yes, Lashi. Yes, Lashi. Ah, 好，好的After watching it, can you guess what today's topic is? Anyone has any ideas? Yes, evolution of Chinese mechanical engineering systems. Ah, Tang Wei Sa, ah, you say what? Ah, what did you say? I said evolution. Ah, uh, very good. Uh, I I heard some a uh, key words. Ah, uh, someone know the topic. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I said evolution of mechanical engineering of Chinese system. Ah, uh, uh, mechanical, a uh, machine. 
And I also hear someone says in Chinese, 机械啊，很好。好，我们来看一看啊。Let's have a look. 好 ，Welcome to Chinese Culture of Science and Technology series class. Today we are going to talk about machinery. Yeah, in Chinese we call it 机械 So as you can see here, ah,、uh, there are some images here. These are the representatives of ancient Chinese mechanical technology. So in the following lessons, we are going to introduce them in details. Okay, here are the contents. We mainly talk about five parts. The first part, 农耕与天时 farming and time. Part two, 饮食与器具 food and utensils. Part three, 衣着与织造 clothing and weaving. And the fourth part, 沟通与交流 communication. So part one to part four are based on the ancient Chinese machinery, and the fifth part, this one, focuses on the modern achievements related to machine. Okay, let's see the first part. Farming and time. Okay, one question for you: Do you know how to grow crops from a tiny seed to a big plant? Yes. How <laughs> to? Do you know adding steps? It depends on the kind of plant, but basically we just get a, a good soil and then we we bring the seed into the ground, give it vital,、uh -huh. like、water, air, and good fertilizer, and then it will grow. Hey, very good. Ah,、uh, you mentioned three main points, three main steps. Ah,、uh, I'm gonna introduce. The first one is good soil. And then you need seed and the water. So these three main steps. Let's see them one by one. So first one, ah,、uh, soil. Let's see. Ah,、uh, first, land preparation. You need good soil, healthy soil, because it all begins with soil. Okay. Let's see this image. Ah,、uh, you can see this person ah、uh, is preparing the land ah、uh, using the tools, and here is、uh, the ox. Okay, second step, seed sowing. It means put seeds into the ground. Ah,、uh, like this. Ah,、uh, she is using this tool ah、uh, to do seed sowing. This step. Okay. Third one, irrigation. Ah,、uh, it's about water. It means to supply land with water in order to help crops grow. Okay, you can see. Ah,、uh, this is an. Irrigation equipment. Ah,、uh, later we're gonna、uh, introduce in details. Okay. Ah,、uh, let's first focus on land preparation. Ah.、Uh. Just now you see two things. Ah,、uh, that those are related to land preparation. Ah,、uh, let's see.
here is one of the simplest machine uh, or say tool for land preparation in very ancient times. Uh, in Chinese, we call it uh, okay. How to pronounce it? Yeah, if your background is is noisy, please mute yourself. Okay. Uh, okay, I hear uh, the correct pronunciation. Li uh, Li means plows. Okay, here are two plows, two kinds of Li. Can you tell the difference between these two kinds of plows? So one is stretched and another one is slow. Ah, uh, 很好, 很好, uh, very great. 很好, you can see here the biggest difference is about this part. It's called uh, yuan. So this part in Chinese, we call it yuan. The left one, yuan, is straight. Yeah. If you remember how to say straight, uh, 一直, 直. So straight, uh, 直, 直远里, is this left one. And 直 means straight. The second one, yuan, is called Chu Yuan Li. So Chu means curved. We call the second one Chu Yuan Li. Now can you guess which one is better and more convenient to use? The, uh, the first or the second? Zhi Yuan Li or Chu Yuan Li? The second. The second. Ah, the second. Ah, uh, Chu Yuan Li. Why? <laughs> yeah, you you said you said the correct answer. Why Chu Yuan Li is more convenient? Because for the first one, the farmer has to bend too much in order to use. But for the second, he doesn't have. To. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's see together. Okay. Chu Yuan Li. Yes. You are correct. Chu Yuan Li is more convenient uh, to use, especially in terraced fields. So here, uh, uh, in the southern part of China, there are more terraced fields than the northern part. Terraced means, uh, you can see the fields are like the steps. It's very small. <clears throat> so the type of field is very small for each. So Chu Yuan Li uh, will make the land preparation easier when turning around. Uh, let's watch a video about how to use this tool, Chu Yuan Li, uh, to prepare the land.农具的变革一直影响至今一千二百多年前
调节离壁入土的深浅，同时使用起来轻便灵活。屈原犁的诞生，让开元天宝年间的农耕有了突破性的发展。唐代劳动人民发明的屈原犁与前代犁相比较，除了比只有 OK， this is another video. Ah,、uh, in this video, we can see more details about 屈原犁。原犁灵活省力，便于操作以外，曲原犁有三处重大改进。直原改成了曲原，增装了犁平，增装了犁壁。So compared to 直原犁，啊、uh, ，these two parts， 啊、uh, ，are improved part。犁平和犁涧是调节耕地深浅的重要部件。So here, ah,、uh, he used some、uh, mechanical principles are、uh, related to mechanical thing. 使用时，拉退犁平，使犁涧向下入地深。Ah,、uh, you can you pull out, and this part ah、uh, can go deeper ah、uh, in the land. 推进犁平，使犁涧向上入地浅，可以适应深耕和浅耕的不同需要。So when you pull in, ah,、uh, this one will be ah、uh, not so deeper. 犁壁可将翻起的土推到一旁，减少犁前进的阻力，提高耕地速度。曲原犁在其他部件上也有改进和完善，它是唐朝劳动人民勤劳和智慧的结晶，是农业生产力有所提高的一个标志。好。<笑>好，我们看下边。往上一拨，往上下，往上下，往上一拨，那往下。大碗小猪，哥，我来地里边拉豆来了，地头这一点麦没有种好。这个。Okay, sorry, it's frozen. Oh, let's continue. Okay, just now, ah,、uh, we watched、uh, the videos、uh, introduced Chu Yuan Li. So as you can see, a small but good design can improve efficiency a lot. So here is、uh, Chu Yuan Li, a 3D model. Ah,、uh, you can scan the QR code. Ah,、uh, if you have an extra mobile phone, now you can scan the QR code. Ah,、uh, to To check. Okay. Ah,、uh, we can also see together. Ah, this is ah Qu Yuan Li. Qu Yuan Li, Qin Dai. Long, one hundred seventy-two mm. Wide, fifty-one mm. Tall. 八十三厘米。水田犁由犁梢、犁原、犁涧、犁壁和犁滑组成。啊、uh, ，Here you can uh turn off uh the sound and double click. Ah,、uh, you can zoom in. And you can also drag it ah、uh, to see details. So after class, if you're interested in it, in it, ah, you can scan the QR code, ah, to do it on your mobile phone. Ah, 
，好，这个是啊，屈原离。Okay, now let's focus on seed sowing. If you were in ancient times, how would you sow seed? Would you put、uh, each seed into the ground one by one, or、uh, in a more efficient way? Yeah, anyone want to share your ideas? Uh, about seed sowing. Okay, you can see this picture. Ah,、uh, they seed sow. They do this step by hand. But we also have some machinery. Okay, let's see this tool for seed sowing. How to pronounce it? Lo cha, 哎，很好啊。Lo cha, so this tool, ah,、uh, in Chinese we call it lo cha, and you can also scan the QR code here, ah,、uh, to check the three model. Ah,、uh, as you can see in the image, ah,、uh, here is a box. We put seeds in this box. Ah,、uh, they will go through the holes here. Ah,、uh, I show you the cutaway picture, ah,、uh, of lochu. So this box, ah,、uh, there are seeds in it, and they will go through the holes here, and separately into the soil. So this step can guarantee average space, or say distance between seeds. Okay. Ah,、uh, we also check the three three D model. Three-dimensional seed sowing. Length, two hundred thirty-four mm. Width, ninety-nine mm. Height, eighty-seven mm. Three-D model. 由楼圆、楼架、楼斗、楼脚和楼滑组成。好 ，So according to the sound introduction, ah,、uh, 三角楼车 ah,、uh, three feet. Here you can see, ah,、uh, there are three feet here. So just now, ah,、uh, in the picture, we have the three holes, ah,、uh, at the bottom of the box. So let's zoom in. Ah,、uh, you can see. Uh, we put seeds in this box, and here are the connected, ah,、uh, connected, ah,、uh, three pipes or say tubes. So it will ah、uh, transform the seeds, ah,、uh, from this bottom hole into the ground. This is lochu. Ah, this is lochu. Now let's watch a video to see how to use lochu. Ah, 要主，学会没？好像有点把控不太好，其实。这六爷这都走这虾种子的，这三个腿儿都虾的。So here's the holes for seeds. One down, one down, one down, one down, one down, one down. 这人家讲的早，人家比咱多讲好几天嘞。咱讲的晚了呗。他这是不是因为一下雨，然后地都有伤，它长得快？嗯，咱。
Can you see the video clearly? Yeah, it's flashing on my side. No loss, it's clear. Ah, okay. Uh, the grandfather, uh, he says, now uh, it's useless because uh, we have the better tool, have better machines. So this one is more like uh, uh, old antique. Uh, no one uses it anymore. So you can see it's like a vivid evidence of development of agriculture. Okay. So after uh, introducing low to, uh, let's see, next one. Okay, this one. Uh, we call it, uh, how to pronounce? This uh, Can you guess uh, what's the function of the Yeah, what do we use it for? Uh, after using low chua, you can see here are three like big stones, right? Ah, so this thing, uh, we use it to help cover seeds with soil. Just now we put seeds into the ground uh, using low chua. In low chua, there are three feet. So here you can see uh, three big stones. So we use it to uh, press the soil, to cover the soil. So uh, this step can keep the soil, uh, soil's moisture. Okay, uh, let's see a video about it. Uh, how to use it. This is,啊,所以你看,啊,我们用它来把刚下种后的虚土,压瓷是一些。啊,so you can see,啊,we uh, use it to cover the uh, cover the soil, uh, in ancient times. 从而起到保伤的作用,清代王向进,广群方土, uh, like this. Okay, so here's a, a simple introduction about Dun Chu. Okay, just now we introduced seed sowing. Now let's see irrigation. Okay, this one is called Long Gu Shui Chu. Do you know the meaning of the long? Anyone else? Uh, what's the meaning of long? Dragon. Ah, oh, very good. Yes, dragon. Ah, uh, long is dragon. And the gu here means bones. 水车, 
water wheel. So the shape, you can see this thing. The shape is like imaginary dragon bones. Ah, uh, 水车 water wheel. So this one is a mechanical device of irrigation. Let's see. Ah,、uh, let's see this picture. As you can see, ah,、uh, they step on the pedals. Ah,、uh, so. Uh, to make the paddles here, to make this each paddle move, and each paddle will transport some water from river and to the field. Ah,、uh, here is、uh, another one. Ah,、uh, this one they use it by foot. Ah,、uh, by、uh, foot, and you can also use it by hands. You can shake the handles,、huh? so like this.、Uh, the direction is from this way, and the paddles get some water and transform it、uh, into the field. Okay, let's see、uh, a video about how to make and use Long Gu Shui Che. Ah, Long Gu Shui Che. Ah, Long Gu Shui Shui Che is ah、uh, made up of wood. Ah,、oh, we can skip. So here are the ah、uh, paddles. And the gear, and a connected pole. This part is about how to make it. Ah,、uh, let's move to how to use it. Ah,、uh, you can use it by hand. Or by by foot. Ah,、uh, so the water ah、uh, is get from the river to the field. Ah,、uh, 这是啊、uh, ，龙骨水车 ，for irrigation。啊，龙骨水车 ，just now we mentioned needs human power. We need to use hands or feet, ah,、uh, to make it move. 
here is another mechanical device uh, that can irrigate automatically uh, just by water power. It's called Tong Chu. Uh, let's see how it works. There's a very big hill, and it's driven by water power. And then this little spaces uh, can get water. So we can save human power. So Sweet,水力灌溉的星宿,盛堂的农业生产率得到提高,广阔的耕地上种出无数粮食。That's Tong Chu. Can irrigate automatically, uh, driven by water power instead of human power. Okay, so far we introduced uh, the farming part. As we all know, if you want to grow crops successfully, the timing, uh, weather, and climate are the key factors. Now let's focus on time first. Uh, suppose we were in ancient times. How would you know the time if you didn't have clocks? Or mobile phone. Anyone wants to share your ideas? Ah, uh, now What time is it now? Uh, to, How would you know? To, to look at the sun. Ah, uh, <laughs> to look at the sun. Ah, uh, as clever <laughs> as uh, the smart people in ancient times. Ah, uh, let's see. We can look at the sun. Uh, yes. So here. Uh, is a timing tool. Uh, we call it Gui Biao in Chinese. Uh, you can see this image. Uh, I'll introduce it. So Gui Biao is a timing instrument used in Asian China to measure the length of the shadow. So you can see here the shadow. A uh, Gui Biao uh, consists of two parts. Uh, one is Gui, uh, one is Biao. So the Gui, uh, you can see here, Gui is this thing. This is Gui. Uh, actually, it is a ruler uh, placed horizontally in the north-south direction. Yeah, sorry. And the Biao. Uh, now we know Biao is watch, show Biao. Uh, here, uh, Biao is this thing. Biao is an upright pole. Uh, it's upright. And it's placed at the southern end of the Gui. So this, this side, this way is southern. And it is perpendicular, uh, which means this angle is 90 degrees uh, to the surface of the Gui. Uh, uh, here, uh, you can see it's Summer solstice, uh, the sun will go to the highest. And here is the winter solstice uh, in the whole year. Uh, the, the sun will go in the lowest position. So according to the longest shadow, uh, the longest shadow here, and the shortest shadow here, the annual winter uh, solstice and the summer solstice can be determined. 
and then the length of a tropical year, uh, the whole year, the time can be calculated. Uh, this is Gui Biao. Uh, here is another timing instrument uh, according to the uh, sound. And it's used in ancient China called Ri Gui. Uh, this one, Ri Gui. Uh, 这个日鬼, this Ri Gui in this picture is in the Forbidden City in Beijing. Uh, you can see the, the walls surrounding here. This is Forbidden City. As you can see, the shape is like present clocks. And the shadow here, uh, the shadow of this needle, uh, is similar to the hour hand in the clock. OK, uh, let's think. This kinds of instruments uh, rely on the sound too much. When it's in rainy or cloudy days or uh, at, at night, uh, how could we tell the time if no sound? No ways. No ways. No ways? <laughs> so, so at night, Asian people will, will not know the time? As possible. I don't know. Uh, you, uh, you suppose uh, yeah, no sound and no time. We, we, it's very hard for us to know the time. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, if we were in ancient times, maybe we can, we can see what kind of thing is similar to time flowing. Oh. Yeah, time is flying, flowing. What other things maybe we can find a similar thing? Uh, then maybe can calculate the time. Is it star? This kind. Uh, star, stars. Then, then at day we don't have stars. <laughs> then we we don't know time either, right? Yeah. So okay, let's see. Let's see this one. Yeah, Asian people found a thing similar to time, and they both flow. That is water. Now, water is flowing, just like time flowing. So can we use it uh, to measure time? So that's what Asian people found. Uh, water clocks were invented. Uh, this is lo ke, a water clock. Lo ke. It relies on water to operate. OK. Uh, let's see this picture. The principle uh, of timing is that uh, a container, uh, these containers are filled with water. And the water is drained uh, by this type, uh, these pipes. It's drained slowly and evenly out of the container to another container, which has markings. So this container has markings that are used to show the passage of time. Uh, here, uh, when there are more and more water, then uh, this thing will show the markings. As the container fills, uh, the observer can see where the water meets the lines and tell how much time has passed. Okay, uh, do you know why they set four kettles here? This one, uh, these four are water spreading kettles, xie shui hu. Why here are four containers? Never heard about this lesson, sorry. <laughs> uh, let's see, Ow. I will introduce. Ow. Uh, if we, just now we said, uh, if we want to measure time correctly, the flow rate, the flow rate of the water must be the same. Yeah, so we will have the correct time. Uh, it won't be too fast or too slow. But the water will slow down as they get less 
in the kettle. So in order to keep the water flowing evenly, or say in an average speed, we should always keep the same amount of water in the container. So in a certain time, this lowest, uh, this container, the lowest container, can always keep the same amount of water. So the water flows into the into this container, water accepting kettle, at a constant speed. It can show us the correct time. Okay. Uh, 现在现在七点四十七 Now we have a ten minute break. Uh, after ten minutes, we come back. Uh, okay. All right, Lotion. Okay. Ah,、uh, so fifty seven. We will come back. Ah,、uh, see you later. Okay, Lotion.
Yeah, everyone, please rename your name. Uh, as the uh, Wang Kan, Wang Kan says, uh, student ID plus Chinese name plus major. Do, do I this way? Uh, uh, let's continue. Please come back. We are here, Lo Shi. Okay. So can we continue? Okay, Lao Shi. Okay, Lao Shi. Just now we mentioned the water clock, a low cup, and also uh, introduced here are four kettles, uh, just to uh, just to keep the lowest kettle, the lowest container, uh, always uh, keep amount keep the same amount of water. Uh, let's see, uh, version two, generation two. So this is also. A uh, low ke water clock, another low ke, but you can see the water spreading kettle here. Ah, uh, no more four kettles. Ah, uh, here are only two kettles. So, the ingenious idea in this one is that it only uses two kettles to make to make sure the water can flow at a constant speed, ah, uh, average speed. The first pipe here, uh, you can see here, uh, the first pipe is bigger than the second pipe, than this pipe. So the lower box always keeps enough water. And here there is a hole on the side of the lower box. In order to let the extra water flow out which can keep the same amount of water in the lower box. Uh, here, uh, the little pipes uh, using a principle, we call it Hong Xi Yuan Li, a siphon principle. So the pipe is very uh, little. So the little pipes here use the principle uh, of siphon. And the water can be drawn from the upper container to the lower one through little 
pipes, little tubes. And here, this one, uh, this beautiful bottle uh, is the water accepting kettle. This is the water clock. Okay, that's about how to tell time. Asian people were also very curious about the universe. Uh, let's see. And the mystery universe. So how did they explore the mystery of the universe? Let's find out. They used this astronomical instruments to do it. Uh, yeah, you can try to read. Uh, 这是魂天仪, uh, we use these instruments. 魂天仪. And the 魂天仪 consists of two things here. One is 魂仪, the left one uh, in the picture. And another part is 魂相, the right one. Okay, let's focus on 魂仪 first. 魂仪 is to measure the positions of stars and mark their coordinates. 魂相 is to demonstrate the movements of stars. The following video will lead us to see Huan Yi. Let's see Huan Yi this instrument in the following video. Ah, this one is Huan Yi. We use it to measure the positions of stars. Huntian 日月星辰确实像一个球面一样魂仪的外形就阐述了天元地方的观点水槽灌上水这也是我们现在经常会用的方法使它能指向天上任何一个方位呢？So we'll see star from this pipe and use these circles to measure the positions and to mark the coordinates. 
借助双环的旋转和窥管本身的移动，就可以以一管窥全天了。魂仪里的环圈也非常的有意义，它代表了各种不同的天体坐标和支撑结构。地平圈代表的是地平面，子午环是经过天顶南北方向的环，黄道环是太阳一年的固定运动轨迹，还有赤道环等。And she's introducing、uh, astronomy knowledge. 天体具体坐标都读出来。其实，在十七世纪望远镜发明之前，古代的天文学家都是用魂仪来观测天体的，可见魂仪的重要性。现陈列在紫金山天文台的这架魂仪，不仅是文物，更是国宝。好啊，那这是魂仪。Okay, now we are going to introduce an. Integrated astronomical instrument, which includes the three devices we just mentioned above. Now, this thing is like a building. Ah,、uh, in Chinese, it's 水运仪象台 It's an astronomical clock tower. And here you can see, ah,、uh, there are three stories inside. Uh, another picture, three stories. Okay, let's see it in more details. Oh, the upper floor. Ah,、uh, can you see? The upper floor is 魂仪 Just now we mentioned to measure、uh, stars and also to to get the the coordinates. Ah,、uh, we use 魂仪 Ah,、uh, in the first floor and the middle. The upper floor and the middle is 魂象啊、uh, ，is this thing 啊，魂象。And the third、uh, floor, or say the lower floor here, is a big water clock. <音>我们看一看。The video. 水运仪象台，啊、uh, ，the the clock tower. 水运仪象台，则是苏颂对人类社会的另一项贡献。他发明的这架水运仪象台，是集观测天象的魂仪，演示天象的魂象，计量时间的镂刻和自动报时的机械装置于一体的。综合性观测仪器，整座仪器高约十二米，宽约七米，全木结构。全台共分三格，上格放魂仪，顶板可以自由开启，以具有现代天文观测式的雏形。中格是魂像，下格报时装置，全台都放机构，其中的擒纵器。则是报时的关键部件。水运仪象台是十一世纪末我国杰出的天文仪器，也是世界上最古老的天文钟。它的发明反映出中国古代天文学和力学知识及应用已达到相当高的水平。好，啊、uh, ，later we will see a video. Uh, the following video will guide us to review the timing machines we talk about just now. So please enjoy、uh, how to timing, how to time. Chang, 点赞，给你好看。今天我们就来聊一聊古人是怎么计时的。成正，商朝时期，古人发明了徽表，也就是在地上垂直立一根杆子，通过影子长短变化来判断时间。立在地面上的杆子叫做表，平放在地上的刻度板叫做圭。大家看这个圭字，是不是很像尺子的刻度啊？从这时候开始就有了光阴的说法，并且用分寸来形容时间的长短。圭表虽然很方便，但是万一杆子被谁碰到了，影子长短就会发生变化，时间就不准确了。后来古人发现，把杆子倾斜一定角度。
论什么时候，影子都能够均匀地投射到一个圆形的平面上。于是日晷就诞生了。古人还把一天分为子丑寅卯十二个时辰，刻在了日晷上。日晷虽然很方便，但要是碰上个雨天、雪天、雾霾天，或是到了晚上，那它就只能当个摆设了。汉朝时期，古人发明了更靠谱的镂刻计时，在水壶里面盛满水，中间插上有刻度的剑，这样就可以通过水位降低来计算时间了。最常见的镂壶为一刻之镂，当时人们把一天分为了一百刻，一刻相当于现在的十四点四分钟，镂完一壶刚好一刻，所以我们现在也把十五分钟叫做一刻钟。不过这种镂刻需要专门有人往壶里不停地加水，特别费劲。到了宋朝，机智的古人终于发明出了上能观天象，下能计时间，水运仪象台，它每隔十五分钟就会有小木人自动敲鼓。一次，每隔一小时就会有小牧人打铃一次，时间上的误差不超过十秒。报时的核心部件其实就是现代机械钟表的核心部件——擒纵器。连英国科学家李约瑟等人都认为，水运仪象台可能是欧洲中世纪天文中的直接祖先。而同时期的欧洲还在用日晷记录时间呢。但这么贵重的东西在当时只能供着了。老百姓最实用的计时方式还是更服打更。宵禁制度实行之后，古人把一夜分为五更，一炷香的时间是一更，差不多是现在的两个小时。老百姓二更就不能出。出门了，更夫这个职业一直持续到新中国成立，才开始慢慢的消失。从古至今，人们虽然能用各种各样的方式记录时间，却阻拦不住时光的流失。也许正是因为这样，人们才会更加珍惜时间吧。告我辞。好，这是啊，和时间有关的啊 ，related to time part。Now let's move to part two. Food and utensils. You may know the the main food for Chinese people are different between northern and southern part. Ah,、uh, do you know the difference? In in northern part,、uh, what's the main food? And in southern part, what's the main food? Ah,、uh, and ah,、uh, northern people 喜欢吃 right. 哎，什么时候？啊、uh, ，北方人喜欢吃 rice 吗？米饭。米饭，但是这里南方人喜欢喜欢吃面面面条，是不是？啊、uh, ，南方人喜欢吃面条。你说到了米饭和面条 v a r i e t i s 啊，但是地方弄错了。啊、uh, uh, ，different， 对，地方错了。北方人对，好，我们来看。哪里说？你说。啊、uh, ，好。啊、uh, ，我们来看一看。啊、uh, ，刚刚马丁啊， uh, 马丁 mentioned 啊、uh, ，米饭、面条、rice and noodles。Ah,、uh, let's see. Ah,、uh, generally speaking, as main food, ah,、uh, northern people prefer wheat, while southern people prefer rice. So, ah,、uh, here are the images, pictures of wheat and rice. Ah,、uh, 但是这只是大概的，大概的一个分法啊、uh, Generally, ah,、uh, but also we need to see the specific ah、uh, areas. 那你看小麦啊、uh, ，this is 小麦 wheat 啊、uh, ，and then 啊、uh, ，we we smash it 啊、uh, ，crush it into 面粉 wheat flour and then 啊、uh, will be 馒头啊、uh, ，you can use 面粉 to make 馒头啊、uh, ，or other different flour food 面食啊、uh, ，steamed buns. But for southern people, southern people prefer rice. Ah,、uh, you can see here ah、uh, the grain rice uncooked, and then we cooked it. Ah,、uh, it will become steamed rice, 米饭 So after harvesting wheat and rice, how do people turn them into steamed buns and rice? Ah,、uh, okay. How to ah、uh, make them to The following steps. Now let's see what kind of machine、uh, would Asian people use. 首先 first of all, let's see how to get rice. 
here is a step called threshing. Uh, threshing uh, means uh, beating rice to separate the grains from the rest of the plant. So we need to get rid of the outside skins. After threshing, now we get a newly threshed rice seeds. But the seeds and the outer skins are still mixed together. So we need to clean them. Uh, you can see these two pictures. Uh, they uh, beat the, the rice from the field uh, here to crush it. So the outer skin and the inside seed uh, will be separated. But they're still mixed. So we need another like cleaning machine uh, to separate them. So let's see. Uh, here is the cleaning machine. We call it Feng Shan Chu. And uh, you also can scan the QR code to see the 3D model of Feng Shan Chu. Uh, now we will uh, watch a video about how to use Feng Shan Chu. Uh, by the way, Feng Shan literally means fan. So you can see this shape is like a fan. Hey, what's how to use it. Uh, so here, shake the hand. I put the grains inside. These are corns. So you can see the extra outer skin uh, will be blow out. The fan will blow air. So the cleaned corns uh, will come out from side. So we get the clean corns. And the dirty things will blow will be blown out. Uh, clean the grains. Clean uh, this is a fan, fan vehicle. Feng Shan Chu is to clean the grains uh, to do the threshing step. Okay, now uh, threshed rice can be edible after being cooked, but threshed wheat cannot. Uh, because we need this step, we have to grind wheat into wheat flour. Yeah. Grind uh, means to crush it until it becomes a fine powder. Then we can get wheat flour. 
Okay, let's see. Uh, grinding machine. What kind of machine will we use? Uh, grinding machine. Here we use uh, in Chinese, uh, 水磨 It's called 水磨 uh, or say water mill. Uh, let's focus on this part. Uh, you can see here is a uh, 水磨 We can see people use it to grind grains from these old paintings. This 水磨啊，这个啊、uh, water mill is a horizontal one. Uh, you can see this big wheel here. Yeah, the lower wheel is driven by water, and the upper part is grinding. Uh, the wheat into wheat flour. Let's see. Uh, next painting. Uh, 好这幅画啊、uh, you can see here a、uh, very little. Ah,、uh, let's zoom in this part. This trimo are、uh, different from the horizontal one. This trimo is vertical. So the vertical wheel is also driven by water here. Uh, you can see the water is flowing this way, so uh, the wheel will go round like this, and the other parts、uh, are connected by gears.、Uh, also, do the grinding step. 啊，那这是水磨啊。The power is water, driven by water power. 我们也看一看水墨啊，下一个啊、uh, ，another thing 啊、uh, ，is called 水兑啊，呃 ，the function is very similar 呃、uh, ，to just now we mentioned the threshing part 呃、uh, ，we we beat the rice 啊、uh, ，and then to make them separated so 水兑呃、uh, is also driven By water power. Ah, we can also look at a. Ah, this is a model for 水兑 Little model. And now let's watch a video for more details about 水兑 Ah,、uh, you can see here is a very big wheel, and the water drive it ah、uh, to go to spin, and this connected pole is um goes round and round, and this little uh board ah、uh, we can see from this side the board ah、uh, press down. Uh, which can make the hammers work. Then we can put the grains inside. Ah,、uh, then it will beat beat the grains automatically. 好，这个呢是水兑啊、uh, ，use water power to uh to beat the grains. Oh, 好，我们来看下一个。Uh, after getting the rice and the flour, ah,、uh, now we can cook. We can cook the rice, ah,、uh, and cook the the steamed buns. Ah,、uh, Chinese people, Chinese people prefer hot food, so we need stoves to provide heat. Ah,、uh, in this picture, ah,、uh, you can see this is an ancient stoves. Ah,、uh, in Chinese we call it zhao. And here is kang. It's a traditional heated platform used for general living, entertaining, and sleeping in the northern part of China, especially in rural areas. Ah, they are connected inside. Ah, so you can see. Ah, here's walls, and they are connected. So the heat can be passed through. The space, 
and the heat is used in a more efficient way. So a uh, cup can also keep the whole room very warm. Uh, here, uh, what's this? Can you guess its function? This little box. Can you guess? Maybe it's the cardboard to keep the the wood. Uh, to keep 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 what? Ah, uh, we all together. Ah, uh, all together. Ah, uh, uh, keep the temperature. Ah, uh, or keep the fire. Right. Okay. Let's see. Ah, uh, this thing we call it feng xiang. Ah, feng feng. Ah, we know it's wind. Ah, uh, so literally means a wind box. Ah, uh, it can blows out air. Ah, uh, let's see this device. It's related to heating. Uh, how to keep fire burning well? Uh, you can see this picture. Uh, the person is cooking, and also uh, pull and push this thing. If you want good fire, uh, enough fresh air is needed. Uh, it can furnish a strong blast of air. Let's see how it works. Uh, in in a clever way, feng xiang. Uh, this is inside of the feng xiang. Uh, so you can see uh, here. Um, separate the feng xiang into two spaces, two parts. No matter whether you push in, uh, you push in or pull out, it always keeps blowing air out. Which is more efficient to work can save your uh, strength. Uh, here an English explanation. Uh, let's see some uh, useful sentences for us to know. Uh, here, uh, just now, it's uh, it says 双动活塞式风箱, which means Double action piston box battles. Uh, you pull the piston. The piston is this thing uh, towards you, and it pulls a sealed wall towards you. Uh, how the following you can read by yourself. Uh, maybe the sentences are not so clear uh, to help us understand. So later we will see in the uh, in the video. Uh, let's watch a video to explain. How this foam sound works uh, in an efficient way. 大家好，我是中学物理教师王超群。今天我说两头受气，在往外拉的时候。啊、uh, ，He's a physics teacher. 啊、uh, ，Let's see. 你推这个活塞的时候呢，里面一点并不一致，对吧？当Ah, uh, here is a cutaway picture uh, of the feng xiang. Uh, so you can see here. 啊，这无关紧要啊。或者呢，我们换一个理解方式。你可以把我画的这个图理解为一个。那么在这里呢，我们可以看到 A、B、C、D 四个通道，在这四个部位，每个位置都安装有一个盖板，物理上呢叫做单向阀，就是这个东西。是吧？我们现在在照片中看到的这个盖板，相当于就是这个把手旁边的，也就是这里这个 B， 对不对？在这里呢，所谓单向阀。啊，呃 ，He introduced 呃单向阀 in physics field. 啊，单向阀 means one direction 呃 door similar to door. So you can see here 呃 the the air can only go through this way and cannot go back, uh, just like a door. This is that they only allow the air to pass through one way, either from the right to the left, or from the right to the left, or from the right to the left. But these two directions only have one direction. Let's see. 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 Let
挥把手的时候。Yeah. Uh, when you pull in, uh, just like this picture, uh, you can see this picture. When we pull in, uh, what will happen? When we pull in, uh, you can see. 当我们往里推这个把手和活塞的时候，活塞左侧的这部分区域体积变小，那么压强变大。This part will be squeezed. 把盖板 A 死死的压住，所以这个时候盖板 A 呢是。闭合状态，这就不用担心这的气体从 A 这个鼓封这么这部分区域，外界气压就会开盖板 D， 看就是这样一个。Yeah, you can see now we pull in, and the air will uh push the C door open. So the air uh but this A for A side uh will close the door, so the air will go through this uh opening. And to blow air out. 情景是吧？那么 ，and when you uh pull out, it's similar to this way. Ah,、uh, D will open and B will close will be closed. So the air will also uh go through D and also go through the opening. So no matter you uh push push or pull,、uh, we can always blow out the air. 往里推。刚才说到，这边体积变小，压强变大 ，A 被顶住。Yeah, so that's the uh clever part for this foam 箱啊。You can save your action and uh pushing, pulling can always blow out uh the air to the stove to the stoves. Oh. 好，这是啊，风箱。Now we finished、uh, part one and part three.、Uh, now、uh, we are going to introduce、uh, part three: 衣着与制造 clothing and weaving. 这是啊，棉花 This is cotton. So we need the cotton fibers. Here is the cotton field. Ah,、uh, do you know how to remove the cotton seeds if we need ah、uh, the cotton to to work? Ah,、uh, how to remove the seeds? Ah,、uh, maybe you said I I use my hand to get the seeds out from the from the cotton, right? Do you have any other uh like clever ways? Anyone want to share your ideas? Actually, usually in my country, people use hand. Ah,、uh, use hand. Usually use hand, right? Ah.、Uh. Okay, so let's see. Uh, in ancient China, uh, besides using hand, uh, what other tools can help us uh improve the efficiency? This one is 绞车啊，绞车 Here is an old guinea machine. Ah,、uh, we will say it's guinea. It's used to separate the cotton uh fibers. This white thing is what we used, what we need. This one is. Cotton fibers and the seeds is the uh what we we don't use it. Ah, 绞车好 you can see the people ah、uh, how to operate it. Ah,、uh, turn the handle and pull the cotton between these two uh two uh bars, and then to squeeze the seeds off, the cotton fibers will come out from the narrow space. Ah,、uh, so this box is for the the cotton fibers. What、uh, that we use.、Uh, after we get ah、uh, the cotton fibers, ah、uh, we have a step called 弹棉花啊弹 So this step can make ah、uh, the cotton very soft, ah、uh, which can keep warmer. But 
how to get a cotton thread. Uh, when we have this uh, soft thread, how to make them become thread? Do you know? Or have you seen this step? Okay, maybe no. Uh, okay, I, I will introduce. Uh, after we get cotton fibers, uh, we can do uh, this step to make the cotton more soft. Uh, but the cotton in this shape is not very convenient to be used, saved, or transported. So we need it. Uh, we need to turn it into a cotton thread. Uh, actually, we can make the cotton fibers longer and spin it and make it much longer and spin it again. Continue to repeat these steps. Oh. Oh, let's see. Uh, but, but if you do all this by hand, it will be too tiring. So we have another ma machine called Fang Chu. Uh, we use this spinning wheel. Uh, to make thread from cotton fibers. Uh, here are other farm a uh, very big farm uh, can be driven by water power. So let's see uh, uh, audio. Oh, video, sorry. Mm -hmm. So from the cotton fibers, uh, how to make cotton fibers to thread? Mihuan 我这样可以放下了 uh, You can see uh, Make it longer And then spin it Into the very uh, string thread Uh, he says, uh, you need patience to do this job by hand. Uh, after you having the threads, then you can weave it into cloth. Uh, uh, today, uh, I think time's up. So next time we will uh, continue from the uh, from here, uh, and next time we also have a uh, like little matching quiz. 
uh, I will show you the pictures of these little tools or machines uh, and also give you the name in Chinese uh, and their functions. Uh, what you should do is to match them. What kind of thing uh, is called and what's their functions. Okay, uh, and I will give the slides to uh, to your monitor so maybe a monitor can send to your your group okay so you can you can uh, review a little bit okay okay see you next week Bye-bye.